Hi, this is Rod Sweeman with I'm Chem International, uh, coming to you to talk to you about grease gun in a can. You may find that very strange, grease in a can, okay? Don't be. The beauty of this is, it comes out in a liquefied form. You can spray it flat out by spraying it where you want it to go, or you can put a snorkel tube in it for your pinpoint, your pinpoint shooting. Now the beauty of that is, and this is designed to get your tough areas that need to be greased. Yes, you can spray this on a simple thing as a hinge or a hood uh, hinge, things like that. But in the industry, there are some places that you just need to grease that you can't get to. Chains that are going through tubes that have openings. You spray it in there, okay? Now the beauty of it is, as I'm going to show you here uh, in a minute, is uh, it you spray it out, it's thin, okay, liquidy. And as the propellants, the carriers evaporate, okay, it leaves a nice, thick, synthetic blend grease, okay. Tackifier stays right where you put it, okay. Now, there are many areas that you can't grease or you can't get a Zerk fitting or a grease gun into. That's where this comes into. It's USDA approved with an H2 rating. H2 means it can be used in the plant, but not around food, much like the C1, okay? C1 rating, okay? Now, what I'm going to do for you next is I'm going to demo it and show you exactly how it comes out, the finished products, and some of the added benefits to that. Okay, back with you to do the demo on the grease gun in the can. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about the grease, okay? It's a synthetic blend grease, much like our tube grease. And when you blend it with synthetics, and extra tackifiers, tackifiers make it stay where you put it, okay? You're getting the same consistent grease you would always get. Now, if you go out and buy a Texaco or a Havlin or some other grease that's out there, you're never getting the same type of grease. That's why we manufacture ours. Because Texaco or Vaveline or whoever it may be never buys the same crude. They buy by the price. So their grease may be manufactured out of crude from Iran one day, Saudi Arabia the next day, and maybe hopefully Alaska the next day. So it's never the same consistent grease. When you blend it into a synthetic form, you're going to get the same cons consistency time after time, and it will last you 8 to 12 times longer than just your petroleum-based product. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a snorkel tube so I don't spray this all over the place, and I'm going to spray it, and I suggest everybody spray it in the cap of the can, okay? Okay, simply take the cap of the can, simply spray it in, okay? As you can see, right here, you have a lick, liquid red grease there. Looks a little thin, doesn't look deep red because it's still got its fluorocarbons in there. In about 10 minutes, that will thicken up into your hardened synthetic grease. Okay? Now, in this cap is the grease that I sprayed in, okay, about 10 minutes ago. We don't want to waste time, so I'm going to get right to it and show you. Now, here it is. As I stick my hand in here, I pull it out. As you can see, it is now your grease. Now, a point I would like to make about this grease is, if you took a Valvoline or a Texaco or any petroleum-based products, you could put it between your fingers, okay, and stretch it apart, and nothing would happen. See how this is stringing? See how that's pulling apart and staying on each side? That's where the tackifiers come from, okay? Try that with a Texaco grease or a Valvoline grease. It won't do anything. It'll look like you have oil between your fingers. Okay? Look at how that works out. Look at the stringing, the sticking. See how that is? Now that is grease, my friends. That will help your machines. It'll prolong the life of the grease that you put in there. You'll save money and time and grease and man hours re-greasing all the time.